Okay, my question is the following. There was a uh, cartoon in the New York Times a couple of weeks ago, which was never talked about. And it was uh, from Ohio. They always do a synopsis of cartoons that they think are particularly right, relevant. And so it was um, the Pope saying, I'm sorry that my remarks about Islamic violence provoked Islamic violence. <laughs> now, nobody made a big scene about that, but who made the big scene about the Danish cartoon? Who fired up the world about the Danish cartoon? Who got it started? It was an Islamic cleric who got everybody so in what's an your question? What's your question? So my question is, why does this happen only in this situation when it was outside of the United States, and why did it not happen here? Okay. Daisy, wait, Daisy, do you, do you have a – I mean, I think that was mostly addressed to you. Yeah. Well, I think what Daisy happened – Thank you. Uh, what happened with the Danish cartoon was when the ca cartoon was published, there was a small little, uh, you know, demonstration by – certain Muslim groups, and that was uh, the uh, newspaper decided that they were not going to pay any attention to that because they had a license to free speech, which was fine, freedom of expression. And then they took it up uh, to some of the ambassadors of Muslim countries, and they were hoping that their intervention might have helped, uh, you know, uh, with, with the situation. The ambassadors uh, called for a meeting with the, with, the, with the prime minister, and that meeting was refused. And as you know, that... Um, um, the uh, ambassadors are, you know, ambassadors from various Muslim countries, and they wanted to have a meeting with him. And he basically said, I have nothing to do with this because this is not within my realm. And they called for a lawsuit, and that lawsuit was not pursued. And uh, basically the community felt that their hurts and their, uh, and their concerns were not being addressed. And, and they went overseas, and, and they sought support from overseas, and then the whole situation went out of program. control. All right. All right. So wait. So wait. No, we're saying had it. No, I'm just. I'm just want to finish the okay. point. What I'm saying is that had it been addressed at the local level, it would have never become an international phenomena that it became. It should be addressed at the local level, like Signy did, when 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 the Philadelphia Inquirer decided to put out, publish that same cartoon. They called the Muslim community and said, "We want to do something about this, and we want to create dialogue." Now that was responsible. That was socially responsible. Christopher, go ahead. When, a doctor, when Dr. Samuel Johnson had finished his great um, lexicography, the first real English dictionary, he was visited by various delegations of people to congratulate him, including a delegation of London's respectable womanhood who came to his parlour in Fleet Street and said, Doctor, we congratulate you on your decision to exclude all indecent words from your dictionary. And he said, Ladies, I congratulate you on your persistence in looking them up. <laughs> um, I think... <clears throat> I think anyone who understands that story, which I'm pleased to see everybody obviously does, <laughs> will see through the sinister piffle we were just uh, treated to just now. If people are determined to be offended, if they will climb up on the ladder, balancing it precariously on their own toilet system, to be upset by what they see through the neighbor's bathroom window, there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> the, imams, the, imams, the imams in Denmark did the following. First, they invited the intervention of 22 foreign ambassadors in Denmark's internal affairs. Itself a disgrace, the Danish Prime Minister quite rightly repudiated it. Then they added two cartoons of their own, drawn by them, one of them showing the Prophet Muhammad in the shape of a pig. Then they shot those around the Muslim world until they could get kindling going under the embassies of a small democracy in the capital cities of countries where demonstrations are normally not allowed. And they violated Danish diplomatic immunity, they tried to sabotage the Danish economy, there were random pogroms and attacks on individual Scandinavians, and David Cesarini says he doesn't like the reminiscence of the 1930s that is in, in, inscribed in the cartoon. I don't like the reminiscence of the 1930s that is involved in a Kristallnacht against Denmark, put, put up by religious demagogues and thugs, and that's what needs to be condemned. <laughs>